to the next video so today we'll be learning how to use keychain in react native's new architecture with turbo modules for android so we won't be using any third party libraries that's the beauty of it now first i have created a default react native project next you want to enable the new architecture uh, for your react native project especially in android case so you have to search for new arc enabled so i will just go over here search for new arc enabled go to gradle dot properties and make sure this is equal to true then you can run yarn android and you should see in the metro bundler something like this fabric colon true which means that uh, this app is now new architecture enabled next go to turbo native modules and here they specify that you have to create a folder and it should be outside your react native project but according to me it is incorrect it should be inside your react native project otherwise you will face a lot of issues okay so i have created one folder uh, wait i'll show you so this is my folder rtn my keychain inside that create android ios and js folder forget about the generated folder for now forget about uh, package.json forget about the pod spec for now okay next you have inside your js folder you have to create native calculator.ts file so i have created this file and changed it according to our needs so it the naming should naming is important so native in our case it would be native my keychain.ts and i have defined three methods save password get password and delete password and this name should be changed next we require the package.json file it should be a sibling to our js folder and not inside the js folder so here you can see the it is sibling to our js folder inside the package.json i have copied it everything from the documentation only thing which has been changed is this name then here in the pod spec this has been changed this has been changed and this has been changed if you want you can change it over here as well but i think that is fine as it is referencing to a github url next once you are done with the package.json we will ignore ios for now as that is that would be part of a separate video next inside the android you have to create build.gradle and src main java com rtn calculator calculator package.java okay so in our case it would be in android create a build.gradle forget about the dot gradle folder that is auto generated next create src main java com it should be rtn my keychain okay and here you can create um, my keychain package.kt after that in the build.gradle i have copied everything from the documentation but only thing that has been changed is this kotlin android included the kotlin standard lib as well and this life cycle as well this life cycle is required to um, use the life cycle uh, coroutine scope that's why this android life cycle uh, dependency is required and kotlin is required because i don't want to work with java and kotlin is recommended by google also just to be on the safer side go to your main android folder as well build out gradle and add this line as well kotlin version 1.6.21 and this line as well class path and inside app build out gradle add this as well kotlin standard lib in dependencies section and this line as well apply plugin kotlin android once that is done come back to your my keychain package.kt uh, copy this file but instead of passing this for now just pass return null and here as well just say return null okay everything else you can copy it from over here now we have already done this already done this already done we are ignoring ios for now okay so inside your android you have to run this command but in our case it would be little different it would be uh, yarn add dot slash rtn my keychain because our rtn my keychain is already inside the react native project so we don't require double dot next oh sorry there is one more command so uh, you, you can either cd into your android folder what basically i do is that i open this main android folder inside android studio let it gradle sync uh, let it build the indexes 
and after once that is all done open the terminal of your android studio and then run this command dot gradle w generate code gen artifacts from schema and it will generate all the code generation for you to check whether that has been properly created or not you can go to your node modules search for rtn my keychain here it is in android build you should see this generated folder sources code gen okay now i will come back over here so we already have this now we have to write the implementation details so you have to go to my keychain module dot kt so this is kind of like a boilerplate code i won't go much into into much details but if you want to learn more you can either refer the android documentation or there is a brilliant video from a youtuber called philip lackner who is uh, mostly do videos on android tutorial so you can uh, check out his youtube channel for this understanding of my uh, keychain module so okay so in create this my keychain module dot kt you can copy this all dependencies and here we are uh, basically ex implementing native my keychain spec so you have to override this method the name should be same as that of folder name and this is required for uh, accessing the coroutine scope inside our module then i have defined some uh, th like again this is very boilerplate code uh, you have to use something called algorithm aes and yeah those kind of stuff cipher all that stuff again this is boilerplate code you can just copy paste it for now and here we have created my keychain promise so inside save password i'm uh, setting the my keychain promise equal to promise and we are calling the store password method get password the same thing but we are calling get stored password in delete password we are calling the delete file method so as soon as the password has been created we are creating a file and storing that file inside uh, your internal storage so your internal storage is only accessible to your app and no not uh, to other apps so it is sandboxed so you have good security that is by default present in android os so here we are creating a key here we are getting descript decrypt cipher for iv uh, get key honestly even i don't understand much of it here we are encrypting the data here we are decrypting the data when, when we want to get the password here we are deleting the file so this is the delete file code and we are sending a promise of true here we are getting the stored password we are first checking for file if file does not exist then resolve to false otherwise we are calling the decrypt method which we have seen over here and same for store password uh, we are first creating an encrypt cipher then we are getting the bytes from the password we are creating a file if file does not exist create a new file if file then uh, encrypt all the data inside that file encrypt the data and store it inside the file and uh, resolve the promise to true so you can go now here to my keychain package.kt and copy paste this so we are referencing the um, my keychain module inside the my keychain package once that is done uh, you have to again run this command inside your root of the project yarn add dot slash rtn my keychain uh, yeah and to use it go to app.tsx you can import it something like this rtn my keychain i have created three buttons save password get password delete password save get and delete password and here you can see uh, to i am saving the password calling the save password to get the password i am calling get password and for deleting delete password so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye